Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm joined by a legend in the adult entertainment industry. Welcome Johnny Rapid. Thanks for coming to my house. What's up everybody? Johnny Rapid. I don't know about legend, but that was nice. So I have a lot of questions for you just because I've been a fan since 2017 when it seemed like you really blew up. Um, and I actually have a lot of fan questions too from my fans and your fans. They sent in a lot of questions. So there's a lot to get into. Make sure you click down in the description. I'm gonna have both of our Instagrams. You can check us out more. I'm gonna have links to our OnlyFans. So definitely be sure to check that out. Um, but anyways, I wanna know where, what were you doing before porn? Like, what was young Johnny doing growing up? <laughs> young Johnny was in school. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I started at 18. It's so young. Like 18 in a few months. That's that's so young. Do you ever wish that you waited a little bit? No, absolutely not. Like, I got in at really? the right time. I wouldn't have blown up like I did if I didn't get in at the mm. right time. With the right company, with the right people. Right. I just, I mean, I landed, I landed on metaphorical gold mine. Though. And it didn't take long for you to blow up, right? Because it was like... I, I don't know, man. It was... I didn't expect it, you know. Mm. I went into it thinking, oh, you know, I'll do this for maybe a couple years and I'll be all right with it and then I'll just go back to, you know, doing like the, you know, what, what my family does and then it, just, it did, it blew up and I was like, what is going on? I think I went crazy with the amount of money and press and the people, the, you know, all the attention. I just went crazy. I feel like you were like everywhere. <laughs> for a I mean, second, you still are, yeah. For a second, I was everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Um, what does your family do? Uh, my family does HVAC on my mother's side. What's that? Heating and air conditioning. Okay, cool. And then on and job um, security in Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah, it's like hot and humid there. Yeah. And then on the uh, my dad's side, it's basically all automotive and small engine repair. So okay, so cool. I mean, I, I know both sides. And what are you driving? What do I drive in? Yeah. Shit, I'm driving a work van. Right? <laughs> yeah. I uh, I totaled my uh, during COVID. Mm. Um, you know, I guess everybody kind of went a little crazy during COVID, and I just I've been in the house so long, and I was like, I gotta break free, and I I was. You know, I was going like 170 miles no. an hour. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Yeah, destroyed it. So I want to get back to when you were younger. What was your home life like? Dare I say, middle class and white. You know, more known as that. You know, I was, I was raised in the country, um, did well in school, had loving parents, mm -hmm. living the whole nine yards. Like, I had no real issues. Um, and you grew up in the South, correct? Yeah. So when you came out as bisexual, was that a hard thing to do for you? I didn't have to come out. My brother outed me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so my, my brother was gay for a really long time. Like, we all knew. Mm -hmm. He just never said anything. And then um, when he saw the porn, oh, no. I started at 18. <clears throat> right? He was four years old. He told my parents, like, look, you guys are upset with me for being gay, look what, look what your star child is out here doing. And I was like, well, you know what? Like, kick me out of the house. That's, that's cool. I'm, I'm fine, you know? And they didn't kick me out. They, you know, they, I think it did help them move away from that, that one way of thinking. And so porn brought your family together. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> porn brought my family together, yes. I mean, I didn't have any problems, you know. That's my, good. my parents were like, cool, you know, you're doing it now. When do you plan on stopping? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you're going to stop now? <clears throat> no. And they still ask me that almost every year. Really? Oh, man. Do you like it? Do you have a game plan? Like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, goodness. Uh, well, I'm quite intelligent and I have a lot of skills. Mm -hmm. So the minute I'm out of this, I, I'll just start a company and make some money. Right, but with your amount of notor notoriety, it's like, why not ride it as long as you can? I am, that's Pun what I'm doing. I'm, I'm literally riding it as long as I can. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't, I don't see, I don't see the momentum disappearing anytime. Yeah, totally. And you have your own website too. I do, I do. JohnnyRapid.com? JohnnyRapid.com, that's the one. How long have you had that? Almost three years. Wow, nice. In December, it'll be three years. That's huge. Congratulations. Yeah. It's doing well. 
That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so the beginning of your porn career. What was that first shoot like? And how did you find that shoot? Like, was it an ad or? Yeah, so an ad on sexyjobs.com. I don't know if that's Sexyjobs.com? Sexyjobs.com. Sexy <laughs> 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 yeah. And that guy. <laughs> EJ answered the phone, you know, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm Country Boy from Trailer Park, and I just got out of high school, and I got a kid, and I need to make some money. And he's like, all right, come in. <laughs> you know what he said to me? He took some pictures, like, he's like, do with you. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. And then he cut right, right up your <laughs> 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 like, There's no to <laughs> do with you. Here's Raphael Alencar. <laughs> You know, like yeah. that's literally how it happened. It was, it was, uh, my first one was with Boys First Time or something like that. And, and then the, the next one was Tyler St. James. I don't know if you've heard of him. He was right there at the beginning. He was actually more popular than me. Okay. And then something happened. We're not going to get into that. And then it was Raphael Alencar. So it was like two giant dude, giant <laughs> like right off the rip. Like I've, I've never done anything. What the hell? I love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Were you nervous? I was nervous, but I knew I knew I could handle it. Cause I mean, I had done like play, mm -hmm. you know, before, so I knew I could handle it. But doing it, you know, with a guy, which I thought was like against morals, code, and against mm -hmm. God, and the whole thing. That was crazy, and then the whole, there's cameras here too, the whole world's gonna know I did this, <laughs> you know? So that was, that was, that was nuts. But, you know, I, I overcame it, it was, it was great. It, it shot me where I needed to go. And yeah. I, I don't regret it. No regrets. Good, no regrets. that's awesome. Oh, I think I read somewhere, I don't know if this is accurate, but I read somewhere that your first scene was your first time ever doing something with a guy. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Yep. Holy shit, what a way to mm -hmm. <laughs> dive right in. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Boom, there I am. So it started off, I feel like you did so many prison videos. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they made <laughs> that prison shower oh my stuff God. forever. Mm -hmm. I think we did that for like two years off and on. Yeah. A lot of prisoners. A lot of prisoners, a lot of cops. <laughs> and my, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this, the first time... I probably should, but you know, whatever, we're here. <laughs> Let's do it. The first time I went to jail, my mm -hmm. first thought was, oh my God, they're going to recognize me and it's going to be prison shower four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and oh 10. Oh my God. I was no. like, no! <laughs> That's so scary. Luckily I would spent, you know, three days or so in there and I was, I was out and I was like, oh, I don't ever want to go back there. Yeah, only three <laughs> or four days will be like, Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing serious, mm -hmm. nothing serious, but it was, it was interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can imagine, that sounds really scary. Did anyone hit on you in prison? Did you almost become a wife? Um, I had one person who like knew who I was and he was like, come here, I'll protect you. Try to and give I you a like, candy bar. I'm good, I'm good, <laughs> I'm gonna stay in my, in my cell, in my bunk. Yeah. And then, um. There were two other people. One was like, he kept saying things, but he didn't come out and say it. And then another guy was like, every time I was using the phone, he would try to come over there and with me. Or if I was in the shower, he'd try to come over and with me. And I was like, no, no, no. Wow, so a couple days in jail and like, had you, did you ever go through like, I don't know, like a streak where you were getting in trouble a lot or, you know, like a harder time of your life? I told you, like, when I started getting that money and the, the, the fame and the, the people noticing me everywhere, I just become this, you know, what's, what's the word? Just cocky. Yeah. Just a super cocky asshole. And I thought I was, you know, invincible. You were so young and making so much money and had so much notoriety. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine. I think I'd be pretty cocky too. <laughs> I don't think it was too bad, though. It was just like... Tons of speeding tickets <laughs> and some reckless driving. Yeah. A, a DUI that was, you know, minimized down to a <laughs> reckless driving. And, and not, not much more than that. Yeah. Honestly. So, did, you said, like, 
like all these people knew you and stuff like that. Did you get approached a lot in public? Do you still get approached a lot? I did then, I still do. Yeah. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really matter where I go, the mall, Target, Walmart, really? uh, <laughs> the gay bar, the straight bar, uh, a female strip club, it doesn't matter where I go. Oh my god. <laughs> there is somebody in there that is eyeballing me, giving me, giving me that like Right. You know? And they don't even need to say anything for you to know that they know you. You know what I mean? Like it's the don't. eyes it's just the staring eyes. through your soul. It's, it's the like <laughs> I know. Exactly. You know, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> God. I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I go to like, you know, Chipotle. Yeah. And the person is shaking trying to fix my burrito. I'm like, come on. <laughs> you know, I got, I got my daughter with me. <clears throat> you know, you go up to the, this actually happened. I went, once we got up to the, the register and they're like, I think I know you from somewhere. And I was like, you see my daughter, right? <laughs> I am who you think I am, but come on. Let's keep it really? PG. How, how do those interactions normally go? Are people respectful or? I've never really had anyone too disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe if you're in a packed club or something, someone touches you or something, yeah. then you don't know who it is because they disappear into the crowd. But for the most part, like just day to day, everybody's been respectful. Yeah. So that that's really that's cool. Good. And a majority of them don't even approach me. Really? They won't even approach me. They're, They're just standing They just stand. And I'm like, <laughs> I stare back. Like, hey. I mean, you, you, come, come say hi. You yeah. know, if, if, if my daughter's not with me, just come say hi. I'm yeah. not, I don't bite. So, like, ha has this affected your dating life at all? And do you find yourself dating no. men or women more? No, it has not affected my dating life at all. I have dated guys, but um, for the most part, I... I date women, but mm -hmm. I, I, I stay in long-term relationships, so I don't, I don't really do a whole lot of dating, dating. Right. Um, you know, I had, a, I had a boyfriend and a girlfriend simultaneously for like Were you living as a throuple years. or separately? Separately. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, so separately. And then um, after those two relationships ended, I've been in a relationship since then for six years now oh you're currently in a relationship yeah for yeah. six years and she and i are great and we we see other men and other women mm -hmm. sometimes together sometimes separate i mean it's it's a very very open relationship very poly um i mean no judgment whatsoever that's amazing i would say it's like the most fluid sexual relationship you could ever imagine honestly that's awesome you know there's there's not much we don't do or don't see separately and together and it's just i mean it's been it's been relieving right yeah you know as a as a bisexual person in the gay world you're almost shunned and then as a as a bisexual person in the straight world you're most definitely shunned so then it's like where the do i fit in god like somebody love me. You I know? feel like it's harder like, for bisexual oh. people because everyone's like, pick one. Like even the gay community, they for some reason not can't wrap their head I around like it. I like what I like, and you guys are gonna get over it. <laughs> I'm happy you found love. That's amazing. <laughs> the best. The best. Does she have kids? No. 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 How old were you when you had your kid? Seventeen. Oh my god. Seventeen. Wow. I mean, I was young. And that's so young that yeah. I can. But yeah. hey, as a father, I ended up and I did something I didn't have to do, but I knew would help me take care of my child, you know? Yeah, totally. And I, like I said, I really don't regret it because I'm, I'm in a good place. I would have I would have never met the woman I'm with and, and fell in love like I did if I hadn't have done it. Mm -hmm. I would have never been in that gay bar I met her in. You know? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Wow, it's if crazy how life works. It. it is, it is. So I'm, I'm very happy. Nice. Like That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, have you ever been in a monogamous relationship since you've entered the industry? Since I've entered the industry? Yeah. No. No, God, no. So did you ever take a break or have you just been shooting porn since you were 18? <laughs> since I was 18, I've been shooting porn, but it's steady. <laughs> yeah. Steady. Very steady. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's get into some yeah. fan questions. Fan yeah, I have some fan okay. questions. Okay. Pull them so up. I'm not texting. I'm reading the questions. <laughs> All right. So I asked 
fans on my Instagram um, if they had any questions for Johnny today. Oh so, my. Yeah, we got a lot. God. <laughs> what in the world? How do we pick them? How many should we do? I don't know. <laughs> we have to do them all. There's a lot. <laughs> <questions here. laughs> There's a lot. Okay, so ask him if he likes to top or bottom. Oh, I like to top. Really? I love it. I feel like I always see you bottoming though. You know what? That's what everybody loves to see, right? Yeah. And it's, it's kind of like the grass is greener. I want to give them top so they want to see bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, I have one of my own questions again. Okay. When did it be- I feel like for a while it became your standard to be getting DP'd. How did that happen? Oh, that's still a thing. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, love, doing I love DPs. doing DP's. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's it's so easy for me and people make such a big deal out of it. So I'm like, I'll do it. Did, this, every did the studio ask you to do it or did you ask the studio? Um, I think it was his idea. It wasn't the studio. <laughs> It wasn't mine, <laughs> but he just, he was like, you know what, you've, you've had, you've had, the, the second scene I did, it was mm -hmm. Raphael and a f light stick. If I can have both of those, it's like, just throw two, two of normal f it's like, <laughs> why not? Why? <laughs> why not? So like, let's try it. I was like, okay, why not? That's awesome. That's um, so, do, okay, I have another one of my own questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you get to pick your own, like, who you film with? Or, like, do you, um, is that normally picked for you? Now, I get to pick. That's cool. Now. Mm. But it wasn't always like that. You yeah. Know? Um, first seven or eight years, maybe, it was, here's these guys. That's a long time. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, but then it, it kind of moved into, do you want to with this mm. person? To now, you know. We have a team and we sit down and we say, hey, these are the people that we have. Yeah. What do you think about these people? So it's really a team effort. Do you have like strict no's? Like you filmed with someone and you're like, I will never film with them again. Um, well, there's a few people I've shot with that are dead. So I can't, oh. I can't <laughs> technically shoot with them. So... So we're not doing necrophilia. No, <laughs> That's no where we draw the line. Jimmy Johnson lives in Myrtle Beach, South mm. Carolina. He, I'm only saying that because I don't like him, but I would still have sex with him to this day. <clears throat> Absolutely every time we were around each other shooting, we almost got into a fight. And one time, I, I was doing, a, I think it was another prison shot, and I reached through the bars and I grabbed him by his throat and I was like, you know, screaming really nasty things at him. And he snatched back out of my grasp and he went to punch and he hit one of the bars, about broke his hand. It was crazy. What was the fight about? He's just a <laughs> hole. Really? He's the <laughs> biggest, like, if you say, hey, I don't like spit or hey, I don't want <laughs> on my face or in my hair or anything, he would do it just because. And, and that, like, level of non-consent, that upsets me. There's got to be respect. There, there was none. There was none with him. None whatsoever. Wow. He, that was the only person that really upset me. Well, I'm sorry you had experiences cool. like that where people didn't respect your boundaries. <laughs> I'm that, telling that, you. that really sucks. Right? Yeah. No, that's not cool. I, I always feel like I try to be really conscious of how the other person's feeling because when I film on OnlyFans, it's always mm -hmm. with like straight guys and most of them have never another right. guy before. If you can't really read into what's going on, you shouldn't be doing it. Or if you're just too much of a and you just ignore it, you really shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, you heard that first. Consent is hot. <laughs> it is! <laughs> please, please, please. Um... What is good? Good boy sex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your most good. ticklish spot? Um, the only way that I'm ticklish is if my mother does this thing called, have you fed your horsies today? <laughs> and then I die. But how do you feed your horsies? I'm not, Show not me here. how you feed your horsies. I can turn my tickle off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not really ticklish. Um, who was your most favorite co-star till date? God, you know, I hate that question. Um, you know, because it's like favorite. In what way? 
there were some that I really got along with, and then um, the one that I typically answer with is, you know, Raphael Alencar, because without him and our scene, neither one of us would be as big as we are. Yeah. So it's like, I, I have to show respect to that scene. And he's a really fucking awesome dude. How do you stay turned on while being watched by several people when you're filming? Being watched is what turns me on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 I would be the happiest person in the world if I could be like the Super Bowl halftime show. Uh -huh. Line them up. Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> will you be my friend? Are you, will you be his friend? Of course. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. What is the hardest thing in the gay porn? My d <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Choose. So this person says, Dear Johnny, can you accept the fact that you're gay? He's not saying he's not gay. He's saying he also likes women, so he's bisexual. <laughs> it, 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 the question is really, can you accept that I'm bisexual? That's the real that's, question. That's the real question. Mm -hmm. Can you f Can you f I can f anybody <laughs> if they claim tested. Um, pros and cons of being a porn actor versus OnlyFans. Do you have an OnlyFans? I do have an OnlyFans. So, how, how does it compare doing studio porn to having um, OnlyFans? Let's, so let's start with the pro. The pro of doing porn is that it's very consistent and it's on a schedule and it, it works. Um, the pro of OnlyFans is that you get to make your schedule and it's very natural and you get to control how much money you make. Right. Um, the cons of the two, um, I'd say the con of porn is really just sometimes how unnatural it is, you know? And it, I'm okay with it because I'm a really good actor, mm -hmm. but not everybody is. So a lot of the times you can tell when they're shooting that it seems forced. Right. You know, it's not actually forced. We, we have rights, right? But, mm. you know, sometimes you're, I'm, I've been paired up with lots of people that I didn't particularly care to, to sleep with or do a scene with. So that's kind of the, the con, right? Because right. you get to choose who you want in OnlyFans. Yeah, exactly. You don't have someone telling you like when to pull out and when to thrust, <laughs> what to do. When to do, what to do. <laughs> yeah. I so the con of OnlyFans is that, and I'm going to get very political here because it's kind of f up. Mm. OnlyFans used the sex industry to build them up to a billion dollar company. And now they're going to go public and kick us all off. That's just, that's just, that's f up, man. That's horrible. I to still do. love you, OnlyFans. Don't delete me. <laughs> How many times do you go to the gym a week? Uh, well, I have a gym at my place. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I have a trainer three times a week, and then I work nice. out other times as well. Awesome. You know? You're a wrestler, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I did one week of wrestling, and the coach told my mom, he said, you know, I, I think your son's just too nice for this. Every time someone pins him, he just starts giggling. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked wrestling. <laughs> I hate to say that. I'm very sorry. It's your show. You're really good at this, but um, I'd like to know. I'd like to know more about you. So just tell me a little bit about yourself. Little synopsis. <laughs> okay. Give me something. I started my Instagram because I was a traveling stripper. Okay. And um, while I was dancing, and I would go from New York, LA, to Texas, and then to Miami. So mm -hmm. I would switch up my location every week, and I was just like living out of hotels, and wow. um, just shooting with different photographers, mm -hmm. and that started growing my Instagram, because I shot with like Rick Day and some big names. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started my OnlyFans and YouTube channel and just like really focused on yeah. sex work, um, but I'm mostly known on the orange YouTube Pornhub um, for just my <laughs> videos. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what, where do you see yourself going from here? So I'm launching a website. Mm -hmm. um, it should be ready in a few months. 
Um, and then I really want to start directing and filming right. other guys' solo content for my website um, while still producing some with me in it. Awesome. So I want to get behind the camera. Um, really? Yeah, that's the long term. Like right now? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> I've never f***ed that beam up. You, you f***ed that beam up. I've never f***ed that beam up. We can do it off camera. We can do it. Right there on the beam pack. <laughs> Alright, let's turn it off. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. This was a really fun interview. It was, it was great. It was I'm really so cool. glad you came. Yeah. yeah. And I'm about to come again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Of course. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. I've been a fan forever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Gold Diggers. Have a great day.